In this video, I'll go over the Mirage INS system. For example, how to align it, how to navigate with it, and how to edit and create waypoints. But first, there are a couple of settings I need to bring attention to. If you go under Options and select Miscellaneous tab, here we see Coordinate Display. This determines which coordinate system you want to use in your F10 map view. You can either use MGRS, which is what JTAC uses to give you its target location, or you can use Latitude and Longitude. We're going to use this one because it's going to make our job a lot easier in determining where we want to place our waypoint with the Mirage. Once that's done, you select Special tab and select Mirage M2000. Here we see two options. INS does not require alignment was added because if you want to skip the 8 minute aligning process you can select this right here. Take note that these options are enforced by the server you're playing on. So they can be on or off depending on how, the, how was it set up in the multiplayer as you can see right here. The other option is disable gyro drift. What gyro drift is, it's a side effect which degrades the precision of the INS system. Since Earth is spinning at around 15 degrees per hour, there's going to be a lot of small accumulated errors which will change the waypoint's location by a certain offset, as seen in this image here. There are two ways of fixing this, by updating the INS position, but for this, you can check the manual for the procedures. Now that that's done, we can move into the game. Now that I have started up, the only thing that's left to do is to align the INS system. To align the INS system, we're going to use two parts of the right dashboard. We're going to use the PCM and PCN. If we take a look at the PCM and use the INS mode selector knob and put it into VEI mode, we're going to select the first initial waypoint and power up the INS system. By moving the INS parameter select, uh, selector, we are viewing all kinds of different information about our waypoint. And by moving into latitude and longitude part, we're going to see our initial starting coordinates. We can check these coordinates by pressing F10 map and watching the top left corner. This will display our coordinates on our cursor. And if we move the cursor on top of our aircraft, we will see our coordinates. If these coordinates are the same as these ones, we're going to be just fine. So to start aligning, to start aligning the aircraft, we're going to move the INS knob uh, to ALN. By doing so, an ALN uh, signal light has stopped, started flashing. This means that the aircraft is ready to be aligned, and the validate data entry switch has turned green. If we press this key, we will start aligning the aircraft. Now that we have started aligning the aircraft, the signal light has gone steady. If we want to check the status of our alignment, we will use the PCM INS operational mode, which is by default on N or normal. You, we use normal mode to operate with, those, uh, with the waypoints. If we want to switch to waypoints, we have to be in a normal mode. But if we want to see what's the status of our alignment, we can switch to STS mode. And here we see the status of our alignment. Once this number reaches zero, we will enter a class 4 alignment, which is a really inaccurate alignment, but in theory you can fly, even though you're going to have some uh, gyro drift errors and, and so on. Once this number reaches zero, an ALN uh, signal light will disappear and a PREP uh, will start to flash a green prep light. Here we see in four seconds we're going to be half aligned. And the alignment has gone off and the PRET has started flashing. This means that we can take off but our INS won't be perfectly aligned. In 10 seconds, we will be fully aligned, and the PRET light will go steady. 
And now we're fully aligned. We can now move the PCM INS mode selector to nav position. And now we can see the data of our waypoints and all everything. Currently, I have three waypoints in this mission for the Mirage, from Batumi to Kobaletti and in the middle of the sea. So I can select three different kind of waypoints already. And to do so, I use the INS DEST switch. By using this switch, well, first we need to move from STS to normal. And here we see the coordinates of our first waypoint. To change the waypoint to number two, we can press the DEST switch and press zero two for waypoint number two. DEST 03 for waypoint number 3 and DEST 01 for waypoint number 1.